coming to my channel. Um, I am here today with uh, a project update share. I um, am participating in a YouTube Halloween hop and it's sponsored by my sweet friend um, Abby and you know her as um, Kat and um, today um, I'm going to be sharing my progress on my project um, so welcome to the witching hour um, please uh, if you haven't already or I'm sure you do follow her she's cat paper love on Instagram and um, my partner is April and so I am making uh, this project for her in fact definitely go to her channel because she's having a giveaway and all the details um, will be there so make sure you're subscribed to her and um, and and to uh, be able to enter in our giveaway we have to create a um, altered skull and what I did with this skull was um, I first painted it pink using this cameo pink and then I topped it off with some um, lavender lilac mist and then I just started going crazy with this Key West color and then I decided it needed to be like a shiny uh, shiny shimmer so then I added this and then I added a little bit of sparkle with this Martha Stewart um, sparkle I, I really tried to get his teeth sparkly I'm not sure I was trying to give him a, a lavender grill um, anyhow so I'm not done with this guy yet I'm probably going to add something here um, so I want to cut out vinyl. I, this was my inspiration here, this um, cut out here. So I definitely want to make it a little bit more girly. So that's one of the items that I need to do. And the other item that I needed to do was I needed to create a floral crown. And I, um, if you follow me on Instagram, Josie Posey 4 um, you'll see that I had put a crown that I thought was kind of neat. So I ended up again using Key West. I went to the dollar store and bought a stem. So one stem, th these all come from one stem. So I painted it turquoise uh, again with the lilac mist for this flower. And the pink ones I just kind of left alone. Um, and then I colored this bat uh, let's see here. The bats are also from the dollar store. Um, and they're normally um, just black. And so I I took one off and I painted it lavender. And I added a little bit of um, sparkly Martha Stewart paint to it. And then I just glued them here, which looks messy because... I'm not really good with the glue gun, but I knew I needed it to be steady. So once um, I'm done, uh, I wanted to add a little um, something extra to it. I'm going to go with this around with this floral tape that I also purchased at the dollar store to secure each um, flower on there. So I went to the, um, where'd I go? Tuesday morning. And I came across this um, this die set. Um, it says $6.99, but I ended up getting it for like $2. So the RIP is what I have here. And I'm going to put that in my um, Cricut. And so I will attach the RIP here somewhere um, because it's every item we're making is Pastelloween. So I, I thought it would be cute to have like an RIP, like this is, uh, you know, a dead, cute, uh, Katarina style floral headpiece. And I tried it on and it totally works. So I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. 
Um, if the RIP um, little tombstone doesn't come out, then I'll definitely be adding uh, these hands that I picked up um, at, I think it's the dollar store. Oh no, Target. And if not, then I'll just gift these to her in my box. Um, I should have bought a pair for myself. So, uh, the other item that we needed to make was a book, um, and a Fremmer book. And I have never created an ephemera book and I really didn't know where to start. So I ended up getting a traveler's notebook. I covered the, the top uh, purple and then I just cut these out with images from my cameo. And um, I just input it, I just, um, these are vinyl stickers all these things here I had in my stash and so here I'm going to be creating a pocket so I'm gonna put some adhesive here and then I'm going to tape this down to this page and then here I printed out some witches brew um, with a little background and then I'll decorate this page and I'll adhere that to that page um, this is from this uh, Beautiful collection, and I'm also going to attach that there. I, since I didn't make a, um, a real a book on my own, I'm going to attach these adhesive labels and then put some little die cuts uh, in them so that she can later use them. And this paper here is from Z Darling. She's on Instagram. Her and her mom had a shop. And I purchased these last year. Um, so I will be adhering that to this page. And then this is also from her shop. So with each page, I'm going to try and make like a theme and then try and stick, you know, some different embellishments. Um that I am going to uh, shop for still. Oh, this here is a handout that I got off Pinterest. Um, and so I will also be sticking that in one of the pages. Um, and so, yeah, that is my project share update. Um, I hope she's not watching and I hope she likes it. I do plan on sticking these in this book somehow with um, some more ephemera. I also, um, just to add to what I'm giving her, this is this is not one of the rules, but um, I ended up painting this um, tombstone and I'll probably um, do another RIP here or maybe um, a face, a, maybe a wood, uh, wood embellishment there. I will cut some paper and add it here and then just fill it with some goodies for her as well. So um, I just want to um, come on here and say thank you for watching. I'm super excited for Halloween. I um, am excited to finish this project and I hope that she likes it. Again, if you um, want to follow along on this hop, Please do so by following Cat Paper Love. Um, she is on Instagram, and I'm pretty sure her YouTube uh, name is the same. Um, so thank you very much, um, and uh, happy Pastelloween uh, to you. I, and um, oh, uh, another question I had for you girls. Um, what other ideas do you have for me since I haven't actually finished this book yet um, to put in here? I flipped. So if you have any ideas on how I can make this super cute, um, I'd love to know in the comment section. Um, I'm also going to be attaching somehow some string here and then string here and tying it up with this pink ribbon just to give it some girliness. So yeah, um, 
thank you so much for watching and definitely stay tuned um because i'll be doing another video once i am done with this um so thank you and happy pastelloween